Hey guys, how's it going? Look at my hair. It's so crazy. Um, uh, all right. <coughs> Man, today I am lucky that I don't have anything to do at work because I am tired. I it's funny. Uh I clocked in, I fell back asleep, I kept having nightmares about it being late and forgetting to wake up for work. I woke up at 4 p.m. and um, at exactly 4 p.m. we had... Hi Mia, say hi. Uh, at exactly 4 p.m. we had a team meeting that started, so I was like, oh shit, I am barely in time and I didn't realize it. I just woke up and I'm and I was like I had the presence of mind of, of thinking when's the meeting today I don't know uh, and so we did the meeting we chilled um, let's see what this guy does is I have a tail on my face hi Mia okay I saw nothing you saw the match I was kissing Mia Oh, she doesn't really understand that I'm recording when she hears me talking and, and there's nobody else in the room She is of course expecting that I would be talking to her Which makes sense from her standpoint. Let's see Yeah, we this was a 6-0. They killed nobody and we killed everybody. I think hi Mia I would like to play now shit. Let me move this Um, I need the desk. I need the desk Mia Okay, let's do it like this. By the way, I did some practice with um, with the lady. Oh god, damn this fucking map. Um, man, I really wish I could bring you this because this map is garbage. Um, okay, is that is that like you're gonna lay on top of my arm? Is that what you're doing? Um, They they don't even have marriages on them. I could probably. What could I do? Um, I have two dancers, so I go here. I get smited here. Well, I don't need to get smited here. So I go. I walk here. I get danced. No, I walk here. I get danced. I kill this guy. So, one, two, Branya Dancer, Branya Dancer. <clears throat> I walk here, I get danced, I go here, I kill this guy. Um, I would really like to kill this to Barn, but I think I have to run Hector. <coughs> because... Yeah, no, I have to run Hector, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, that sucks. Whatever, I'm gonna lose two points. Do I run Hector with this guy? I think I want to run Hector with this guy because this will make him hit harder, which is what I need. One, two, one, two, you hit here. So yeah, I'm just gonna park Hector over here. And I should be fine. Yep, okay. Alright. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. I'm gonna do this to buff Hector. No, that didn't work. Why did it not work? Oh, wait. Oh, it's just a target ally. Wow, you're much weaker than the other fairies. Okay, and then I am going to hit and turn. Six, dead, 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 and dead. Perfect. Wonderful. That is exactly what I was going for. Um, oh, and Sh Mirabilis doesn't even have a weapon. So that's as free of a free win as free wins can be. Uh, I'm going to put you here so that you can go there. Uh... Yeah, 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 I can put you here. It doesn't matter. It's over. 
That's all over. I really need to practice um, to find a way for Branya to um, to do these maps because they're all the same. It, what sucked was the trap position that really didn't let me didn't let me go after them, and uh, there's no way that I could have tanked uh, those guys from melee range. Like, I could have hit Branya here, maybe. So maybe, yeah, I should have done that. I don't know. I'm gonna watch the replay. Turn 4. You break this, and you kill Marabas. I have no idea how people still run these maps. They are so fared out. They're even less... There's even less uh, to work on than the 3x2 on the right. There is literally nothing that you can do to make those maps uh, interesting or more functional or to adapt them to uh, challenges and such. I wanted to show you something. Hall of Arms. This is Xander as he is going to be. Bottle juice means that he has a guard effect. This might be better than my current hardy bearing dagger. I don't know. However, it's it's there, so I decided to keep it uh, because once I merge everything in, he will get all the DSI from my previous Xander, along with Xander's space kit. Blue flame is just an iron bonfire. The rally is just there because uh, just to give me an extra skill. Fury four <coughs> actually puts me at forty eight defense. Which is the same as I have right now, except gives me a ton of attack, a bit of speed, a bit of res, um, and it might be better overall than compared to Fortress Death because it's more stats in general. Then I have a ruse. The ruse is there to replace chill speed because um, on my dark defense, I'm going to show you in a moment, uh, Xander is in the position to be danced, so he will be debuffing people below him. Um, threat and attack speed is just there uh, because maybe one day I will want to switch away from... Um, uh, from infantry balls. So anyways, uh, Xander's over here, he gets rallied, and then the ruse takes effect, and everybody on lane 4 gets debuffed to their defense and speed. Unfortunately, I couldn't get, like, a better ruse. Let's see, let's run it really quickly. Let's run a, a Hall of Arms farm really quickly to see if, uh, if I can get a better ruse. By the way, I finished this Hall of Fjorm with like this guy only had Draconic Rage, Swap, and Speed Death. Like maybe he had Steady Stance, maybe he got it at the end, I don't remember. But uh, my guys have nothing on them. Uh, Corrin used to only have Fury 4 and Special Spiral and Glittering Breath and the Rally. I she didn't have either. Um, Camilla really carried me. Um, with her brazen. Uh, early brazens in Hall of Fjorms are super good. They are just amazing. Um, this didn't do much. The speed death link is the same link that I have on Corrin, so it didn't do much. I have aerobatics, which is cool. I had the weapon, uh, but and yeah, essentially Camilla was the one that did all the work. Most of the work, most of the work. Uh, having a ranged nuker and having tanky boys and a dancer is really exactly where you want to be. So we have nothing that we care about, so we're gonna skip this. Let's put you down here, let's auto battle. Somebody's gonna die. Yep, okay. <sighs> Oh, my phone is at 28%, I should charge it. Tamari, breaks in stance, just a bunch of stuff that I don't care about. Skip. One more. And turn. Let's see. Okay, let's go. And, by the way, they, um, they, uh, the people above, um, uh, Part of Italy is getting shut down again, it's getting locked down again, I hope that I won't be getting locked down again. Starfish is an offensive special, I might run Rapture Sky, I might give him Rapture Sky, that, this might be more useful 
than the other thing so let's give him this because it procs quicker uh, bonfire is amazing on him because he comes with a billion defense uh, but um, my Xander is going to be at plus two, uh, so that's why I haven't put any more mergers on him. I wanted to know exactly what stance he was going to have. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? I don't remember what else is going on. Oh, yeah, he is going to get one more point in defense because I have Dragon Flowers on my current current uh, Xander. So he will hit 49. So that means that I can, uh, well, it's one more point of defense. This will mean that I can drop, like, one of these. I can give Eldigan, um, I can give Eldigan defense plus three. This gives me one more point of defense. I don't know if it's better than where, than where we're currently at because he would lose some HP. Um, but, um, um, but yeah, I also have the option to inherit Fortress Defense Res on Xander because I do have the fodder for it. Let me see. Um, I think I have a couple units that carry it. Let me check the old stash. Not my mustache, but the stash stash. Yeah, I got these two. I got a cliff as a pit breaker recently. I got this guy earlier, so I've got two that I can give. I, I have more of these than I have Fury 4 fodder. Um, I feel that it's always worth... Um, that it's always worth keeping uh, certain skills that are particularly relevant to the meta in your stash. Um, it's just for future usage. Fortress Death Res doesn't look like it's gonna get power creeped as far as what it does, which is just giving you flat visible defense and resistance. Um, Fury 4 is similar, it just gives more stats and there's nothing else that does the same thing. Um, so yeah, Pulse Smoke, Pulse Smoke for tanks. So yeah, anyways, next week... Uh, I just wanted to quickly go into this. Next week, Zane is gonna be the bonus here, so you're gonna be out. Ooh, I can run, I can run Legendary Azora next week. Uh, you're gonna be out, and Zane is going to uh, be my bonus unit. So yeah, um, this lineup is looking uh, like it needs to be changed, unfortunately. But I will be running Legendary Azora. I could be running. No, I can't run Triple Mythic on this. Even though it would be fun. Uh, I'm gonna run... Why do I need you? Oh, to give her defense? Does she need defense at this stage? I don't think she does. I don't think she does. Uh, I'll figure it out. But Sophia actually really overperformed compared to what I was expecting her, her to do. So, um, yeah. Really, really looking forward to run a full week with her um, than I have. Brave Ike, Fallen Ike, more Brave Ike. And yeah, uh, I think that I'm gonna be running Zane in every day. Uh, although, from my practice, Zane looks like somebody that takes too much work to get going. Uh, I don't think that he's gonna be a permanent fixture of my teams. Um, I haven't seen anybody else do well with him. Um, a couple people have tried, but. Uh, all the all the matches where you see them, oh, Zane is so strong, he gets a billion stats, yada yada. They have Zane behind the wall, supported by three people, giving him stats, and at that stage, really fucking everybody works, not just Zane. So yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow, and as always, hail Satan. <laughs>